right. Tag team back again today. I wanted to talk about a topic I was supposed to speak about last weekend, but I had to take care of some things. Speaking about an important topic. This is about Matthew chapter 5, verses 13, where Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. And what does it mean? Because he goes on to say, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. If salt loses its saltiness. So this is not a lesson in chemistry because we know that salt broken down to its very uh, smallest compound can't lose its saltiness. But back in these days, the Jews used to take salt from the saltiest place on earth the Dead Sea. But when they took it, they took it in clumps and it had a lot of different types of minerals in it. So that clump of salt had the ability in for the salt to actually leach out of it for whatever reason. So you could have salt that is actually saltless. So on the shelf, it says salt, but the saltiness has left it. So it's worthless and not as thrown out to be trampled. So that's the um, the technical uh, usage of salt and its um, consequences and how what happens if you lose the saltiness and the ability and how it lost its saltiness. So it wasn't table salt the way that we will think of it today, but it was like shovel. Here you go. Here's your salt, or whatnot, and that's how it lose its saltiness as far for, through whatever means. Now, how does this relate to the Christian? What does salt do? Salt preserves, it um, prevents, and it flavors. Salt preserves. It, prefer, it preserves what it touches. Back in those days, it preserves the meat. It preserves the food. God has initially um, put Israel to be those that thing, to be the salt of the earth, to be the light of the world to preserve society, to prevent the judgment of God, um, to prevent society from going haywire and sin taking over, um, to flavor society and the world with, with godliness, being an instrument of the, the message of truth and the wisdom that's clearly seen in God's love for humanity in the world that he's created. The Jews, the Hebrews um, forfeited that position um, in their rejection of the Messiah um, for temporary time. For now is the time to the Gentiles. Um, but God still has his plan for Israel. So who are going to now carry his message of the kingdom? It's the saints. It's the church. Not the Roman Catholic church. Not the Seventh-day Adventist church. Not even your church. But the church, the individual for the scripture says, we are the church. And when and two or three or more of them are gathered together, the Lord says he is there in the midst of them. You only need 50,000 like Joel Osteen in them. So the church, whether as an assembly or as an individual uh, saint, um, they're the ones that now carry out the message of the kingdom of God. And we as saints, uh, I'll give you a great example. Um, as far as Preventing, pre um, preserving, and flavoring society with the uh, righteousness and justice that comes from the scriptures and only comes from the scriptures. You know, we think of um, American chattel slavery in this country. It was because of believers, the abolitionists, um, those who believe the word of God, who... Um, who were the driving force behind the end of um, the wickedness of slavery in America. That's, that's what you're supposed to be doing as far as being the salt of the earth. You're supposed to be affecting everything you touch in your job, in your community, with your kids, um, in your neighborhood. You are the salt of the earth. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be a, a, a peacemaker. When you see something um, just going on, you're supposed to Inter, inter, um, jet into that situation and bring about peace through whatever means. Um, not not the wrath because the 
wrath of man does not achieve the righteousness of God, but rather through the principles and the um, anthem of the kingdom, which is loving God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, loving your neighbor as yourself, do it to others as you want them to do unto you. So that's what it means to be the salt of the earth, is to be Christ-like, is to be righteous, is to be a son of the kingdom, to be on that kingdom business, kingdom agenda. So I just want to throw that out there because I was investigating that myself and I want to throw it out there into the digital space. Should it come upon any um, curious saints in the time to come? All right. That's my time. Repent and definitely believe.